with Sadie. She is my assistant for this demonstration today. She is a three and a half year old pit bull mix. She is actually here for aggression board and train, believe it or not. Specializing in aggression, anxiety, and other challenging cases recently, I have found myself often on a daily basis utilizing mus muzzles. Now, I am often to the point of either recommending or requiring my owners to purchase muzzles prior to training and getting their dogs properly muzzle conditioned before they even get sent to the training. Now, the main priority for muzzle conditioning is getting them comfortable with the muzzle so that way they'll focus on whatever you're doing versus trying to get the muzzle off the entire time. We want them to excel in the situations that you put them in and training and not just focus on getting that terrible thing off of their face. You wanna make it a somewhat good, comfortable experience for them so that way you don't have to worry about taking it off. You can leave it on for long periods of time and they will remain comfortable and relaxed with it on. Now, I often recommend the Baskerville Ultra Muzzles. They come in a box like this. The sizing chart is on the top of the box and you can also find it online if you decide to order online. Now with these muzzles, I highly recommend them because it is a rubber basket that goes over the entire snout but you will see that there are holes in it. So with these ones specifically, they are able to eat with them on, drink with it on, sleep with them on, and leave them on for long periods of time. Now, Sadie has never been muzzle conditioned and never wore a muzzle, so I figured she'll be the perfect demonstration dog for this one, because this is often what you will come across. Sometimes they'll struggle, sometimes they'll put it right on. It all depends on the dog and how patient you're gonna be with it. I often say you want to get a high value treat, something they cannot resist, and you want to use that to your advantage. So I have some treats here. I'm going to see if Sadie likes these ones. Can you sit up now, Sadie? Oh, good girl. Do you like this? Oh, good. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use these. Now you will see that this will fit over their entire snout. Well, I've never had a dog so eager. Okay. So it'll fit over their entire snout. You wanna put it towards their face as if it's gonna go on their snout. You wanna take a treat and either hold it in your palm or with your fingers, depending on the size of the dog. And you wanna hold it through the muzzle so they have to reach through the muzzle to put it on. Good, good girl. So you wanna do a lot of praise, a lot of reward. The treats are key in this point so that way they have to put the muzzle on to get the treats, the Sadie muzzle. Good, good girl, break, good girl. Now again, she has not been muzzle conditioned or worn a muzzle according to mom or dad. So this is the first time they may not be so eager. So you wanna make sure you have something that they really want. Sadie, muzzle, good girl. Luckily in my case, Sadie is very food driven and food motivated. Now there are a few different straps on this muzzle. So this will go up and under her ears and you're gonna clip it that way. So it'll loop behind their ears, as you can see. There is a strap that goes between her eyes. So that will go ahead, go up between her eyes, over her head and strap onto the back one, as you can see. And then there's also a loop at the bottom of the muzzle. The loop, as you can see, the collar, her regular collar will slip through the loop. So that way they cannot pull it up down, side to side, it will not come off no matter how much they pull. Now, generally, we wanna get them to the point where they're not pulling at it, they're not clawing at it, it's nice and comfortable for them, so that way they'll focus, but this is a long process. Sadie, muzzle. Good girl. Good girl, break. Oh, good girl, Sadie. Good girl. Now you wanna get it to the point like Sadie's doing. She's go ahead, she's sticking it in. I'm moving it around on her face and she's okay with it. So with that, you wanna make sure that they're comfortable with it touching their face. Sadie, muzzle. Good. Then you would get to the point, you can move it around a little bit, still not stressing. Break. You don't want them to claw at it. As you can see, they will claw at it, paw at it, try to get it off. So you wanna make sure they're comfortable with that. Next step would be the muzzle goes on and it goes over their ears similar to this. Good. Then you would go ahead, you would flip this over her head and you would strap it back. And you wanna have it on for long periods of time like this so she's nice and comfortable. You wanna praise, good girl, Sadie. Good girl. 
So as you can see, she's not pawing at it now. She's not trying to get it off. You want to make it a nice, rewarding experience. You want to make sure she's comfortable with it. Now, as they're doing this, they have it on. So this could technically be strapped. You want to make sure it's fitted properly so that way they're comfortable. You want to start leaving it on for longer periods of time. Break. Now with that, you want to start with short increments. Put it on, move it around, start buckling it, maybe leave it on for about five minutes. Take it off, praise, good girl. Next time you do it, maybe 10. And you want to start slowly increasing it so they can leave it on for long periods of time. It's not uncommon when you send them away for training that it may need to be on for hours, days, weeks on end. So it's something you want to make sure they're nice and comfortable. They're not trying to paw at it so they hurt themselves or doing anything along those lines. You want to go ahead, you want to praise them with the treats. You want to make sure it's a happy experience for them. I hope this helped answer all your questions about muzzle conditioning and we look forward to seeing you and your pup.